All right, so when you're looking for holes to air, air seal in your attic, basically what you're gonna do is look for plumbing vent stacks like that white PVC pipe, and you're gonna look for low voltage telephone lines and electrical lines, and then pull the insulation back from where you see those, and you will find the holes that they go through. So this is the top plate of the wall, and this is obviously what needs to be sealed up. And here's what you have the gap between the drywall and the top plate. So this line right here, this is what needs to be sealed on both sides. So it seems like an insignificant gap, but that eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch gap added up across the entire ceiling area, wherever you've got drywall and top plates coming together, it makes a big difference. So just some easy things that you can find up in the attic, just follow the electric lines to where they go down into the ceilings, pull the insulation back and you found the places that you need to seal. Yeah, let's see if this one goes into here. So again, this one's uh, got a pretty decent little gap right there between the top plate and the drywall. Not too much of a gap around the uh, plumbing vent stack, but look at that gap around the drywall. So I'll just seal it with siliconized latex caulk or silicone caulk or expandable foam, any of those things will work fine, or spray foam insulation if you decide to foam the attic. And uh, another thing that I'm gonna recommend for this house is the attic access needs to get built up. So this one is pretty typical. You only see like a two by six surrounding the perimeter here, and that only gives you enough insulation for about six inches up to the edge of the attic access. But this one you can see doesn't even have six inches around it. Um, so normally I say take a two by eight or even a two by 10, um, build this up so it's at least 12 to 14 inches tall around the perimeter. And then on top of the, this is right here is the trim. On top of the trim, you wanna install a weather stripping gasket around the perimeter. And then on the top of the attic access door, install three layers of two inch thick foam board glued together and sealed to the top of this so that when it sits down, it's nice and snug right on top of here and it's well insulated and uh, definitely make this closet in this room more comfortable year round.